Terry Paul here. Uh, just before you guys actually go straight into this video, I'm doing this. quick question: What do you guys think of the Blue Snowball condenser mic? Is it worth getting? Because I'm in the market for a condenser mic. I've had a couple of requests, and yes, I am actually wanting to get a condenser mic. So. What are your thoughts on the blue uh, snowball and maybe thoughts on the Samsung? But from what I've heard, they're not so good. But let me hear thoughts on any other condenser mic you recommend. That's a USB one, obviously. Uh, and yeah, leave a comment. Hello guys, welcome to another Some Guy production. I've come back with this show. Hi guys, welcome to another Some Guy production. Alright, today I'm going to have a look at the... Um, Hi guys, welcome to another Some Guys Productions video. Today we got here from uh, United States uh, Postal Service Express Mail. Uh, yes, I imported this. It's a really good device, actually. Um, right there. This is the DX4 uh, instruction manual. Um, so it comes basically packed with... I've actually pre-opened this, so yeah, don't worry. It doesn't actually come like that. Um, pretty much what you get in it is the DX, uh, this is the, actually the RAID card, the Rocket RAID uh, 231 something or other. Uh, so this is the RAID controller and all the other stuff in there. Uh, all the SATA cables and power cables for the Mac Pro. Okay, uh, pretty much, put that over here, the last thing I want to show you is the actual bracket itself, the DX4, put this over here. Alright, so basically, it's a uh, it's a bracket. It's a shiny finish and all like that. Uh, just a little bit of fingerprints on there. Uh, the DX4 basically is where you put your 3.5 inch drive that you take out, and I'll show you that in a sec. But pretty much the purpose of this is actually so you can have a bracket full of four additional uh, 2.5 inch hard drives, or four additional or, or four solid state hard drives, uh, solid state drives. I'm actually going to put uh, a few solid state drives into this um, so I can get um, some serious boot speed out of this in RAID 0. Um, so we'll see that in a sec but um, let's have a look at the RAID card. This is the RAID card here. I'll take that out in a sec. Well, pretty much what else we get here is the uh, additional SATA cables, cables. Um, plus we have the yeah, additional SATA cables, plus we have an additional bracket, um, the installation disc I'm guessing for the software and all that crap. Uh, plus we have the actual user guide for the Rocket Raid as well. So this RAID controller is not the high-end one that you get, obviously, with um, Apple. If you buy the high-end $1,000 um, RAID controller, if you really wanted that server-grade one, you could. But if you just want regular RAID uh, without the server capability and all that sort of crap that you get on um, a server-grade RAID controller, you can just get something like the uh, Rocket RAID. It's fully compliant with uh, Mac Pro and it does just as good a job and is way better than using the software method of RAID raiding in um, a Mac Pro. So this RAID controller should serve me well. So we'll, we'll tie her up in um, a couple of solid state drives and um, we'll see how she goes. Cheers.